Hi. Importing objects is an important aspect of working with Capture. Importing objects is done using the import model command in the file menu. This lets us select a file with objects that we want to import. The Capture supports several different file formats, all of which are listed and explained in better detail in our reference manual. In this example, I will be importing a SketchUp file. Once I've selected the file and Capture has read it, there may be important information for me uh, generated during the import. In this case, there is a message about a two-sided material application which Capture doesn't support. It's recommended to pay attention to these messages in case they are important for you. I can close this window by pressing continue, which brings me to the actual import window. This window shows me the contents of the file I selected and lets me select either all or individual parts of it in order to drag and drop them into my design. Capture has already pre-selected all of the objects, but you can easily deselect and select the specific object you are interested in. Once you are ready to continue, use the drag and drop button to drag and drop the objects into your design. When you release the mouse button, you're asked whether you wish to place the object right where you dropped it or whether to retain their original position. So as we can see, the objects were imported from the SketchUp file. But apart from the objects, we also got a layer from the SketchUp file and some materials from the SketchUp file. This makes it possible to tweak the materials after import or maybe replace them with other materials of your choosing. Let's go back to that import model window again. It's still open here in the background so that you can continue importing more objects from the same file. I want to point out a few options in the bottom right corner of the import window. The include layers option lets you choose whether you want to have only the layers used in the objects you import or all layers from the SketchUp file in this case, or even no layers. Should the scale of the objects be incorrect, you can also change the scale here through the drawing unit property. It's called drawing unit because it represents the unit envisioned when drawing the original file. So if the file had been drawn in feet, a drawing unit of one foot might have been correct. Some file formats are scale aware which means that there is no need to change the scale and some file formats like for instance DWG are not scale aware, which means that you need to know which units they were drawn in. Thank you so much for watching.